Welcome to Jupiter, Florida, home of the perfect game WWBA World Championship. We're here at the Roger Dean Complex, and I'm currently surrounded by over 700 MLB scouts and college coaches. If you ever want to be recruited, this is the place to be. Over here to my left is Canes National, who has the number one player in the 2024 class. They're currently in the third inning, so let's go check out the rest of the game. Ooh. This man is locked in right now. Oh! That's a really tough call. I don't know about that one, but hey, that's his only third time striking out in the past like five months. I think he's gonna be okay. Oh, sword. So if you're new to the channel, make sure that you subscribe because this is all things sports. Ah, uh, he's about to get hosed at third. Anyways, this is all things sports to where we cover all things sports. Now I'm gonna be a little biased because I was a baseball player myself. Let's go ahead and walk around a little bit, see what we can get into. I mean, this place is absolutely massive. Speaking of, what up? What up, what up? Now we're back on the other side of the Canes game. We got the bullpen behind me, everyone warming up and basically just getting different angles. Now, the crazy part about this is that this is day one and it's only 2.20. So we're not even to the night games yet. And once we get farther in the weekend, the competition's only gonna get better. So to see this many scouts and just people out here at this time on the day one is just crazy. I'm gonna say that the entire video. It's just awesome to see. There are like at least 200 golf carts here and they're literally just scouts and college coaches. I mean, I'm willing to bet that every single player here is going to be signed somewhere. Now, no matter the level, that doesn't matter. Juco, NAI, D1, D2, D3, as long as you're playing and continuing that on, that's what matters. You have to get a bid to go into this tournament so it's not like anyone can just show up. But that's kind of why playing for like a legit team is so important because you get to be surrounded by all of this. And Now here's why the golf cart is so important. Cause I just left the Canes game. I'm heading all the way over cause we got some of our guys here. This complex is a lot bigger than I thought it was. Now, so you get a golf cart, you're over to the next field in less than a minute. Now I gotta walk, I'm out of breath, I'm out of shape. Literally all the way to the other side. Now the cool part is where this is where the Marlins and the Cardinal spring training is. So, I mean, the fields are insane, but that's how big this place is. So you're just constantly walking all over. There's one game going on basically like a mile away. I guess this is what we work out for, right? All right, gonna take a short break, head back to the Airbnb, get some food, and then we gotta come back for the night games starting at like seven o'clock to see some absolute dogs playing. After a much needed break, we finally got some food, but now we're back here for the night game, which is arguably the best matchup of the entire day because we've got actually a sophomore, 6'8 sophomore thrown from the left side. It's ridiculous. Facing the Detroit Tigers scout team. There's one, two, three, four games just constantly going on. Finally got the lights on. Still, same thing, just golf carts and scouts everywhere. If I sound like a broken track record, I'm sorry, but this is still just 
insane to me. But here in a few minutes, we're gonna see some top draft prospects go at it. So let's see what happens. Another thing that I have not gotten used to is, of course, there's players walking around everywhere, right? Almost every single one of them is bigger than me. It's insane. But taller, stronger, obviously faster. Of course, it's the best in the nation. But there are monsters out here. You're gonna see it in all the action shots, but still. Like, it's just a weird thing to like see all these 17, 18 year olds, even some freshmen out here that I literally have to look up to. Like, there's a six, eight freshman out here. How, how, is, how is that possible? Day two, about to wrap up. We're watching the last little game. They ended a little bit earlier today, which is nice, so I'm exhausted. We're about to head into day three, hopefully get some more content. So far, nobody's done anything crazy at the plate that I've seen. So we're hoping tomorrow's a little bit better. It's our last day here, and I'll be completely honest, I am dead tired. Running around this place is probably the best exercise I've ever gotten, but at the same time, you can easily feel the Florida heat here. Being here is really cool, but also sucks at the same time. Let me tell you why. The pitchers here are so good, they just dominate everyone. And that's not to say that the hitters are bad, but everyone's just playing at their best level right now, and typically speaking, the pitcher wins. So unfortunately, I haven't captured any bombs yet. Uh, a couple barrels that you've probably seen by now. The games that are coming up next have some of the top players in the country, so hopefully we can capture something cool. If you made it this far in the video, let me know what else you want to see from this channel. Hopefully we can continue traveling around like this, capturing different sports events, and maybe even try them out ourselves. As I said, I'm a baseball guy, but 
who knows what else we could do. Plus my voice is absolutely shot, so enjoy this raspy voice.